Section 2.4, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. If you're looking for Section 2.3, we actually did cover the material in 2.3 in the 2.2 videos. So the 2.2 videos covers both 2.2 and 2.3, leading us to Section 2.4. In Section 2.4, we're going to look at the relationship between two lines. And if we have two lines, we have three possible relationships between those. Assuming, of course, that we're limited to a 2D space. So assuming that we're drawing these lines on a piece of paper, there are three distinct ways that these lines can be arranged in relationship to one another. The first is intersecting lines, which are also called concurrent lines. This is when we have two lines that intersect at a single point. In this example that I've just drawn, lines L and M intersect at point A. Do take note that it is possible to have more than two concurrent lines. But for this to occur, then all concurrent lines must intersect at the same point. So if we drew in a third line here, we'll name that line N. We then know that lines L, M, and N are concurrent lines at point A. The second way that lines can be related is if they are parallel lines. In parallel lines, our definition is that the two lines do not intersect. Since we're in 2D, if we are given a line L, and remember a line goes on forever in either direction, the only way to have another line that doesn't intersect it is for these two lines to have the same slope. And to notate these as parallel, we use arrows like that. If we had another two lines over here, say J and K, that were also parallel, we could use a double arrow notation to indicate that J is parallel to K, but these two are not parallel to L and M. We would then write J is parallel to K. We could write L is parallel to M. Knowing this, that parallel lines have the same slopes is really important. And based on that information, what form of linear equation do you think is easiest to work with? The standard form, the slope intercept form, or the point slope form? Take a moment and think about it, and then resume the video. Hopefully, you realize that the standard form isn't much use because the slope isn't in that form. With slope intercept form and with point slope form, both forms have m in it where m is the slope of the line. Thus, if we had an equation y equals 5x plus 3, we can immediately see that the slope of that line is 5 and that any parallel lines would also have a slope of 5. Therefore, all four of these lines are parallel since all four have the same slope. The last relationship we'll look at is identical lines. And identical lines are lines that appear the same graphically. We can say that it means that one line contains the other. And in these cases, the lines have both the same slope and the same intercepts. For example, if we were given the line 2x plus 4y equals 5, which is in standard form, we could multiply both sides by 2, giving 4x plus 8y equals 10. These are the same line. So if we were to graph it, we would get one line. And this is what makes them identical lines. If these distinctions made sense to you, go ahead on to the next video about parallel and perpendicular lines.